Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. Today we have to refuel the aircraft, refuel the oil, refuel the coolant, set up the radio and harmonize the machine guns. All this because his plane got shot down. Right? Silly Peter Cal Cal Calamy. Uh, he, he got his plane shot down and so now we have a brand new plane. So we, we, we've got to work over the new one. Basically just get it set up for him so that he can and take the skies. Take to the skies like an ostrich. So in order to be able to do that, what we want to do is first up we want to go to taking the fuel cap off. But we also, in order to be able to do this, need to remove the gun port patches. All right, they've got to come off. To be able to do this, they've got to come off. Uh, we need to harmonize the guns, but I don't think we actually need to do anything else, did we? We've got... Uh, no, just harmonize the machine guns. So all i got to do for that is got to remove the top uh, gun ports. I don't need to do anything to the bottom gun ports. So I do that right there, and then I take that one off there, that one off there, like that, and that one off over there. We come back over this way, take off the breech cover... And remove the ammo belt. Breach cover. Ammo belt. Breach cover. Ammo belt. Breach cover. And ammo belt. Right. There's that bit. And then up here I want to... Uh, coolant access door. That one's got to come off. And coolant right there. And then down here, we've got to do the oil, so I want to do that access door, do that, take the oil cap off, and then I want to go over to this part of the plane over here. Gun port patches there like that, and then I need to take these off as well. So we take that one out, we do the breech cover and uh, remove the ammo belt. Same over here. You don't have to remove the ammo. All we've got to do is do the breech cover and the ammo belt. Just remove it from it like that. And then the same over here. The cover, ammo belt, and that one over there like that. All the way through. And breech cover, ammo belt there. Okay. That's everything taken off and ready to roll. So I'll grab the hose on there, and I will scramble back up onto here, and I'll put that into there. Then I will go over this way, and we will first up... There we go. Refuel this one. That's going to be 40 gallons into there. 45 gallons into there. Right. Uh, back up to here. Take that one. Put it away onto there like that, while I'm... Waiting for that one to move. Let's grab the ladder and we'll bring that one over here. We go and get a bit of coolant. We run that up the ladder and pour that into there. Like that. So you've got to do it like this. Now, okay. The whole thing's empty at the moment. How many can I get out of one drum? Have, have I got like a limit on the drums? I do. Okay, that is very cool. It is very, very cool that we have a limit on the drums. Right, pick up can of coolant. Chuck that down there. Empty. Okay, that's absolutely brilliant. I had no idea it would do that. That's another... Just it's, it's these little touches that we get from this game that I think are absolutely amazing. Right, there is a lot of these little touches that we seem to get. And they do really, really make this game. They, they sort of, they bring it to life. We are actually a mechanic working on the planes, you know, with the, the, the cans of coolant that we're running around and, and, and things like that. Also, we've got the oil over there that we're going to deal with. So there's the last can of coolant there that we want to bring up and put that into there. That should now tip that one right up. We've got to bring that one right up to the right level. Go on, a little bit more. And done. Right. That one is finished. So I bring that and put that down over here. There. Then I want to grab the oil. Actually, I don't just yet. I want to get the ladder and I want to put that one back out of the way over there. Then I want to grab the oil. I bring that over. And i got to remember I don't want it too close, but I don't want it too far away either. I think that's possibly not close enough. 
put it over to there like that and then I can grab the hose that one will go into there getting a bit stuck as long as I can right I can operate the controls that's good I'm not going to sort of slide off of this thing completely empty of oil so we've got to fill that one all the way up as well and then uh, we've done the fuel already it's just harmonizing the guns that we've got to do and then we can close everything down afterwards so it's actually fairly quick to get the thing all set up completely once we know what we're doing there we go a little, little bit more like that there perfect right and then take that one put you over there pick up the Bowser and bring you back over here so now all I gotta do is go and set the harmonization board up and we can start doing that bit so we run over to there we grab that one install the harmonization board that is now installed over that side so we can start on the outside edge over here and it's just space you climb up onto here and then harmonize machine guns we put that one into there and you do have to I found out that you do actually right where's the where's the target I'm moving it it's over there no. I'm moving it down that's down as far as it'll go. Oh dear. Where is it? It's not up there. <laughs> I don't see the board at all. Right, I've right clicked to come out of that one. The board should be up. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there another... Have I got to do a different harmonization first? No, I don't think I do. If I go into there... Oh! Silly fool. I know what I did wrong. You've got to put, you've got to put it on the jack to be able to... It's, it, yeah, we're... we're <laughs> I'm pointing it at the sky. I don't want to be doing that. I want to point it here like this. Um, so it's all pointing in the right direction. So yeah, we, okay. Let's let's start over on this side, and now it should be facing roughly the right direction. There, that's better. Now I can see see I can see the trees. I can see everything. So we want to come over that way, and I want to line that one up with the bit on the board, and then this one there. Okay, my the keys are very sensitive on this. There we go. So the the keys are actually quite sensitive on it. So I how am I? Oh, I've missed one there. I've, I'm now on the third one in, uh, which is the blue one there that I got to be. Uh, so this is pretty close to perfect. I've got the. There, harmonize that one. That's the one that we want. Ooh, that one's way out. There, so I want to put that one, put the crosshairs up onto there. Like that. And then set that up. Is that out? Oh, it might be that my crosshair is not quite in the right place. There. Over a little bit. There we go. Getting it absolutely spot on isn't easy either. Okay, we put this last one in now. Uh, so yeah, I I know about the gunport patches because I've seen it on the, not on the was it on the Discord? It might have been on Steam actually, or on either Steam or Reddit somewhere. I've seen that um, if you don't have the gunport patches, if you've got them on, you can't see through them. Um, and you, you sort of don't realise this to start with. You've got to remove the gun port patches. I mean, it does make a lot of sense. You've got to remove the gun port patches to be able to see through the gun ports. So, yeah, it, it does actually make sense. But um, it might be something that you don't quite think of to start with. Right, let's put you onto there. And now we can bring... Down a little bit. 
up a little bit over it there there we go line you up beautifully it's just a case of tapping the keys i think just to get them just right and then press space onto there right up you go over and we're on the blue one this time there we go one more this side there harmonize the machine gun up we go again some of these are a long way out the, the one on the end might be a little bit out all things considered up and over and last one and then we can go along we can do everything up right you over here you're gonna be just a bit out yeah <laughs> right well it's not too bad I suppose it's not too bad put that one onto there task completed harmonize the machine guns right uh, I need to press number two now we want mode two I want to start putting things back together. So there's the breach cover, and there's the upper starboard thing. And then I want to come back over here. Put those on. Like that. Uh, ammo belt. Breach cover. Belt, breach cover, and then put the covers on like that. Did I need to do the ammunition on the guns? I don't remember or not. Patch right there. Belt. That one. Upper cut upper starboard cover. Like that. So we look. Uh oh, we've still got the radio to do, that's why. That's the the, the last thing that we gotta do. The radio, which is honestly not one that I liked particularly doing. That 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 of the jobs that I've done. That one was the one that I liked the least, but I mean, it's, it's still got to be done, so there's not a lot that we can do about it. We just have to get on and do it. Um, it's just another one of those tiny little attentions to detail that this um, dev team have done. They're like they, they really have. They've made an amazing, astonishing attention to detail on this game. And there is so much to it that is accurate that the more i found out about this game the more i've um found out is just how accurate they've got everything as well and um, that they haven't like uh, skimped on their research or anything uh this this has been done properly uh we put that one on and then we do that up like that and then over here so that we can put in an ammo belt a breach cover like that there right and then over here ammo belt yep breach cover and gun port okay i come out of that like that so then i can go around this side and we've now just got to tune the radio so we go to option one radio hatch up there Take those out and radio shelf like this right tune the radio transmitter frequency oh yeah that one there you got to put the transmitter secret frequency so that the signal goes as strong as possible so I move it out that way back down There, right. It's rather sensitive, and then you've got this horrible, horrible noise. I'm hoping what I can do is do a slow tune all the way round like this. And pick up the point where that Morse code bit is. Because that's what you've got to look for. It's not picking it up at all. as far as it will go that way. Uh, no beeping yet. Just what we're waiting for is to find some kind of beep. And last time I did this, the beeping was close to where the speech was. There. 
Okay, so yeah, that is a really, really horrible noise doing that, but it's it's now done. Um, that's the bit that I, I would say out of all of it, I like that bit the least. It's really not very pleasant to do. Uh, it might help if we take it off the jack here a minute. Um, let's pick that one up. That comes out, and then I pull that one out to the side. And I drop the plane, the rear wing, onto the jack and break the plane. And then we carry on. Okay, let's go to you and press escape, and we should be able to say, job done. Like that. Refuel, refill, refill, set up the radio. Harmonize the machine guns, final result, perfect job, another 30 points. Thank you very much, we've only got 45 points to go. We may be able to get that. If we get three good points on our next one, plus the 30, we will make our 1,500-point target. And we get the, was it lead aircraftman? Or senior aircraftman? Something like that. Right. Intercepted a large group of bombers today. The Hurricanes went straight for them while we dealt with the escort. Scored a few hits on one of them and had to run away smoking. Lead and... No. Oh, lead and number one were shot down, though. Both are in a hospital now. We need to replace the gun port patches, refuel, rearm, replace the gun camera. Right, refuel is very easy. Replace the gun camera, easy. Rearm the guns takes a bit. The patches are simple. Right, rearming the guns is probably the most time-consuming part of this entire process. We've got a... Well, first up, let's just do this. Uh, we'll go over to you, and we'll scramble up onto here, and we'll take you off right there and we'll refuel and then once we've done that we can then start working on the next bit right we've got 75 gallons of fuel to go into here that'll be my guess is it going to be 75 i would very much appreciate it if everybody could get into the comment section um i i know that i've already said it this week i am talking about it in every video this week to give everybody a chance to have an opinion on this um, to voice an opinion on this if you want to. Um, do I do more live streams on this channel? More and more people are asking me to do more live streams on this channel. This seems to be a thing that a lot of people are after. If I was to start doing more live streams on this channel, uh, it's obviously it's going to change the way that um, the channel is run a little bit. I'm not going to have time to do everything exactly the way it is right now. Uh, and do more live streams. So I need to know what you would like to see on the channel. Uh, would you like to have more live streams being done? Some people do like the idea of more live streams. Other people really hate it. Um, it's, um, it's something that I need to know about. I need you to give me your opinions on this. Do, do you really hate this? Uh, do, do you really like it? Get into the comment section. Give me all your views and opinions, and I will be able to then decide how best to proceed for the channel as a whole. Um, it's... I, I, something may have to change. Um, something that I have noticed is that the channel is starting to slow down quite considerably. And I've been doing quite a lot of research into why this might be. I've been um, sort of analysing different things. Now, it has been suggested that some live streams could help. I don't think that's the only thing. I think another thing that does need to change is the length of the videos that I produce. Now, this one is a bit more sort of involved. It's probably going to have to mean that I change the style of my own videos. Just slightly. For the most part, they won't change. It's just the beginning and the ends that I think would be better being changed so that I can keep the majority of the content like it is but I would need to do shorter videos. Shorter videos do seem to get more interactions and I've looked at my own videos and um, how they're received, 
how they appeal to people that don't normally watch the channel. Because remember, I do need to continue to grow as a channel to replace people that naturally fall away from uh, over time from uh, watching the content. And uh, something that has changed over the last sort of six months is that my videos have essentially become longer. All right? I used to do shorter videos than I do now. And some people really liked this. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to come over to this. Some people like the longer videos. Some people like the shorter videos. And so it would appear that this is a, a thing that has actually had an impact on the channel overall is the fact that I now do quite long videos, um, which is something originally I didn't do. I originally kept them around the 30 minute mark. And so maybe I should be going back to doing that. But I've been trying to think, how can I do this best? Because when, like, I, when a video is done, uh, we, we, obviously we reintroduce, we carry on where we left off last time. But how much of that do we actually need? And how much of it is just me recapping and wasting valuable content time? So I got to thinking, well, how else could I do it? If I'm, like, doing a recap... If I, if I don't need to do a recap, because these videos are close enough together that I don't really need to do a recap. Um, most of them are, you know, at most two days apart, right? I do a video and then I do another one um, two days later. And, well, that's that's when it goes live. I do it every other day you get another video or you're from the same series. So how how much of a recap do I really need to do on it? I don't. I don't actually need to spend time doing a recap. I could, in fact, just do a pre-recorded sort of intro and outro to every video and then do a long recording session and split that down into 30-minute chunks and splice in a, um, a suitable intro and outro type bit along with um, the rest of uh, everything else that I do. I think that this could work. I think that this could be a possibility, but this would also mean I'm doing shorter videos. Now, if I'm doing shorter videos, uh, that would naturally allow time for the live streams that I've been talking about. That um, a lot of you do seem to want. There is a, a lot of positive feedback for the live streams. Um, not everybody is wanting the live streams, and we know that that's not going to be the case. But there's a lot of people that are expressing a strong interest in this. So it's it's going to be a case of me trying to please as many people as possible. Uh, and possibly coming up with a compromise that will please yet more people still. And I think that this may be a way of doing it. By shortening the video length... I will, in theory, not need to reduce the number of videos. You would still have the same number of episodes, the same sort of games, the same stuff being covered. Uh, but I would also be able to do some live streams as well. And, you know, this does seem to be something that may appeal to a lot of people. I don't really know, right? Nothing is set in stone, as always. I, I, nothing is decided. This is just, uh, you know, things I'm talking about, possibilities of stuff that might happen. Um, but nothing is going to happen until I've uh, spent this week. You know, that's one of the things that I'm doing this week. I'm looking at everybody's feedback. I'm looking at feedback on here. I'm looking at feedback on the Discord. I'm looking at private messages that people are sending me. Um, I'm reading everything and I'm weighing up everything. So if you've ever wanted your voice to be heard, go into the comments section and make your voice heard because this could be the one thing that you do actually have an effect on. Um, and it could genuinely make a difference to the channel. Right, that is... Oh no, I've got one more lot of stuff that I need to do up here. I need to do those. Put them in and... Close those up. Do that one over there. That breach cover. Gun port. Uh, there. Right. Uh, that one on there. So, I yeah, get, get into the comment section. As I've been asking you to do all week. And give me your views and opinions on everything I've talked about. And I will read them. And I will process them. And your opinions... Each and every single one of you, your opinions matter on this. This is something that is very important. 
So everybody's opinion matters on this, not just one or two people. I am not just looking for one or two people. Um, every single person is going to be listened to. Every voice that speaks on this issue is going to be listened to and every opinion is going to be valued. Um, the more opinions, the more information I get from people, the better because it means I'm, I'm getting more stuff from people. I'm, I'm getting more information, I'm getting more feedback. So it, it, is going to, it is going to matter. It does all matter. Every single voice. It doesn't matter if you've never commented before. Now is the time to make a difference. Okay, there's another job done. Thank you very much. Replace all gun port patches, refuel the aircraft, rearm the machine guns, and replace the gun camera tape. That puts 1475. Final job, uh, final result, perfect. That puts us up to senior aircraftmen, so we can continue career. We get some extra points. Fantastic. Right, valve system specialist. Many hours working with valves and rock and mechanisms allow you to know exactly which parts need fixing. That one right there, yes, definitely. Uh, quick look at the pistons. Quick look at the pistons. What? Oh, ignition system. Every spark plug. Take that. That one makes that easier. We get longer on the timed ones. This is... I need to glance at all the oil system parts. This is a glance at engine cooling. Valve and rocker mechanism. I think we want to do the valve and rocker mechanism. And then this one, three assistants, we can remove four screws at once. That one right there. Uh, confirm. Right. Defended Wilmington from 110s and Stuckers. Check the coolant after this one. Also, the prop pitch has huge has a huge lag. See so what's wrong with it. Okay. Fix the problem with the propeller pitch. Replace all gun port patches. Refill coolant. Refuel. Rearm the machine guns. It's rearming the machine guns. It's starting to get tedious. It's got to be said. Let's go and do our usual quick run a minute. I want to go to there and... That one undoing, get that one and bring that one up. We'll drop you into there and then we can come down to here and we can turn that one on. So that's going to be a good 65 gallons, I would guess, to fill that one up. All the way to the top. No, 56, no, just under 60. It was six gallons out. All right, then jump up onto there, put the hose away, put you up there. I'll go back up and quickly put that one back on a minute right next I need to replace the gun port patches and rearm the guns to be able to rearm the guns we've got to do this bit yeah like that take up the breech covers there breech cover and you up there right take off the gun port patches that one over there, and then slide on in underneath, and we can start clicking those off. This is quick and easy as well, like that, and there, that one over there, and then we've got this gun port down here, and that one down there, and then we've got an ammo box. Right, well, that's half of it, almost. Almost half. Right, now we've done half of it. So I can do that bit there. And then I can come over to this side and I want to do exactly the same. Um, oh, I've got to actually click to be able to do that. Right, so we can do that. And then we can start just... Can do it from up here, actually. Zoomed out does seem to work reasonably well. Uh, breach, breach, breach. And that one. Like that. Breach cover. There. Underneath, take you, standard ammo door, that little one there, like that, that one over there, and then I've got this one, these are the slightly bigger ones to do down here, but I mean we're getting faster at this, I'm definitely getting faster at this, it does make a difference when you can um, quickly run through it really quick like that. There, and that bit down there. Okay, that is all of those bits ready to roll. So we will...
go into here and we'll get the ammo boxes a minute. Like that. And we'll do that bit first. So if I go to option two, like that, I can put on the gun port patch. And then I can go in underneath like this. There. Put that one back on and put that one back on. We'll do the, we'll do the other gun port patches in a minute. We'll come up to there. Oop, like that. I'm very croaky today. I need to go. I, yeah, I, I don't. I don't really know why either. I've I've got like like serious croak going on, and I, I don't always. Sometimes I do though. Uh. Right. All right. A bit of coughing and spluttering later. Hopefully that will see us to being slightly less croaky than I am right now. Zoom out up this way. Put on the new gun port patches, and then we go to here, ammo belt, breach cover, starboard cover, like that. Uh, two ammo belts over there, two breach covers, and then we can put those on like that. Quick and easy. Ammo belt, breach cover, and you on like that. Wait. Why did it not come up with the thing to say that it was complete. Refuel, rearm. Oh, hang on a minute. Have I not closed them down? No, I haven't. I've, I've opened everything up on this side. I didn't close it down. Um, right, so I will do the gun port patches a minute. or do those. Do those two. Uh, yeah, I only, I only did half of them. I took them all apart, but I didn't actually put them back in. So I do that bit like that. And then this gun port down here. Hang on, let me twist it round. There, that's better. See what I'm doing slightly better like this. And then close you down, and then go to you. Yeah, that's much better. Cooking on gas now. Put you in, and then that one. Like that. Oop, there. Close that cover, close that cover. I'm getting faster at this. I'm definitely getting... It would be good if there was, like, a, a thing that you could use to speed this little bit up. That would genuinely make a difference to the overall performance, I think. If you could have something that would speed up the whole rearming process. Let's bring you over this way a little bit and see what I'm doing. Okay, ammo belt and ammo belt. And then breach cover, breach cover, breach cover... Put the gun port covers back on. And now all we got to do is the propeller bit. Now that I've done these. And we may not need to go into the actual propeller at all. We may be able to just go onto here. Undo the spinner. There. It's something, it's, there is something in here that is not quite right. So uh, have a look at that. The assembly. It's all looking good at the moment. Get you off. With that bit right on there. Can you go? You know what I'm You're going to come out? Uh, well, I took off the other bit. I, uh, there was that one bit that I just took off. Oh, refill coolant. That's another one that I've got to do. Uh, damage. Distributor valve. Don't think there's going to be anything else. But, I mean, we will we'll take off the propeller assembly. Take the whole thing off. And then we can check the bits behind as well. So you come off, and then I'll go to this. We've got the... Ah, the pitch thing is damaged as well. We've got the reduction gear, the front plate. That's all looking good. So I want the... Right, that's all going to come out. So I've, got to, I've actually got to remove the cowling. Like that. Uh, I've got to... Great. I have to remove all the cowling to get to those. So I've got to go all the way around here. Take that off. Take that one off up there. Like that. And then there's one more over this side. Right there. You know what would be good is if one of the bonuses was like an, a larger AoE effect for the, um, the spanner. For when you're highlighting the, the screws. That, I feel, would be a really cool upgrade. So, it's the propeller pitch governor that we want to take. That one right there. And don't think any of the rest of it. Propeller pitch governor. It's saying damaged. 
That was because it's not on there anymore. Reduction cover. Have I got anything else in there? Gear wheel. That's fine. Well, well, we'll deal with this bit first and we'll see if that's actually enough. It might be enough. I might not need to do anything that, uh, more than that. Uh, I've got to do the coolant, so I'll bring that one over and I'll drop that one down and I'll grab one of our cans over here. Uh, pour that one in. Ooh. I might have to do two cans of this. That's very, very low, that is. Have you burned through so much of the stuff? Wow, yeah, he really did. He, he's burned through a lot of that. Okay. You know we're not made of coolant around here, don't you, mate? Right? You, you know we're not made of this stuff. It's, it's, um, it, it's valuable stuff. Yeah? We can't just keep pouring it away for the sake of it. I know there's a war on and all. And we do have to make allowances. But honestly, just be a little careful. Right? Be a, be a little careful with what you're doing up there in the skies with this plane. Because it's, it's not invincible. You treat it gently. I don't want you abusing my, my, my baby. Just because you're the one that flies it doesn't mean that it's your baby. Right, propeller pitch governor is damaged. So I need to go to there. And we put a bit of oil in. And then... There's a spot. Now, where else is there a spot? There's a spot there. And... There's a spot there. Ideal. Look at that. Part fully restored. The other bit... We've got to go and replace. So we're going to here. One distributor valve. There. Thank you. And then I go back over to here. And we start putting these things back on. So I'll do those up like that. And then I want to go up here. I want to put the coolant tank back on. I want to put that one back on. There. Like that. Right, now I can start putting these on. This is a time-consuming bit. Mostly for me, For I've just got to mouse over them. I don't actually have... I, I don't have to wait for anything to be done up with it. I've just got to wait until it goes in place, and then I've got to physically mouse over them. So you, you, you've you got to be accurate with the mouse. Put that one onto there. Put you all the way around. There, and bottom cowling like that. Right. Then we can start putting this back together. So I'll do you up into there. And then once that one's done, I need to distribute a valve. That's got to go. There we go. That was all of it. So distribute a valve was in. And then do you up there. All primary tasks complete. And all we've got to do is put that dome back on. There, like that. Those on there. Do them all up. Perfect. Right, that's all done. I put the coolant thing. Yeah, I did the coolant thing. That's all back on. Let's go task. Replace everything. Do everything. Wow, I've got to get a thousand points now. Fix the problem with the propeller pinch. Replace all gun poor patches. Refill the coolant. Refuel the aircraft. Rearm the machine guns. Save spare parts one. Final result. Perfect job. We are already on our way to becoming a corporal. That's pretty good. Right. Continue career. We will move on. Um, like I said, I want uh, you to talk about what to do about this um, thing with the length of the episodes. I've, I've talked about that a bit. Um it is quite important. Another engagement with enemy escort. Sent one of them to the ground. By the way, check the tail wheel. I almost crashed on landing and CO thinks I'm tired. Replacing it will assure him I'm all right. <laughs> Replace the... Uh, check the tail wheel. Right. Replace all gun port. Refuel. Rearm. Replace gun camera tape. Standard. It's literally it's just standard stuff apart from replacing the, the, the wheel on the front. So... Um, I am going to stop this episode now in a second. We will just do the refueling a minute. Um, down here and we do that bit and then we will stop. Um, but yeah, the, the whole thing with these episodes, like cutting in um, 
how I would do a 30 minute episode and get it almost exactly 30 minutes every time. I've, I've been coming up with like some different ideas, but I want some feedback on that. And do you, what do you think of shorter episodes? Because I mean, I, I honestly, I think that the overall health of my channel, um, shorter episodes are something that's needed. Um, it seems to be sort of the, the main issue that I can see with just about everything is uh, the episodes that I produce are a little bit too long. And that might be putting people off, it might be putting off new people, and also existing people as well. Um, it's not always possible to sit and watch a long episode. I know that there are a lot of you that do, and you do appreciate the long episodes. Um, but it might be that I'm just unfortunately not able to continue doing this, and I do need to reduce them down. Again, I'm not really sure, so I, I need you to get into the comments section and uh, talk about it. But that is all I've got time for today, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I will just pop the breach covers. There we go. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.